So right now, today plan is to clean up inside the SI. I'm about to install this part right now. I got the Honda genuine box right here. Of course, you gotta unlock the car, dude. But that side, man, out here it's feeling good, especially the sun. That's what's up. Wish the weather could be like this all the damn time. As you can see the edge of the mirror is fading away so I bought a new mirror and the mirror is right here in this box if you guys want to know the part number that's the number for the rear view mirror right there so let's open her up I believe I showed you guys but I'm gonna do it again OEM guys OEM I know in the last video y'all was calling me the OEM God which i'm like i'm not at all the oem guide i've just done a lot of research on this car and going with aftermarket for this car the aftermarket parts for this car honestly do not last long and you're basically wasting your money here back for one so that's why i try to stick to the most part to oem stuff so this is an oem rearview mirror it looks clean definitely looks good so I'm about to install so to install, this is the mirror. I know y'all see that big wing in the back. Turn the mirror to the right, all the way to the right. So after the mirror is turned to the right, then you grab it and then you turn it. You turn the whole thing, right? And then the mirror comes off. That easy. So out with the old, and that's how the old one looks. You guys could probably see better what I'm talking about at the bottom of the mirror, where it's fading right there a lot. Like I showed before, you stick it in sideways, get to the top, and then start twisting it. And that's it. Make sure it's the make sure the back piece is straight, like it was before. And there you go. You got your rear view mirror back again. So that's pretty sick. It's pretty sick and pretty neat. So definitely looks dope. So the new mirror's in. New mirror is looking clean as hell. That was probably like the easiest replacement mod ever. I'm going to go ahead and start taking the mats out to start cleaning them. Today's probably like the best weather right now. Guys, look at that sun hitting the carbon fiber. Clean, clean guys. Let's take out these mats, man. Look at this, man. This is disgusting. Definitely need to vacuum in here and clean these mats. You need to get like a cloth and clean all of that up. But highly recommend get you guys some weather mats, man. Because you guys see how this looks, right? All dirty. Look at my SI mat with the SI logo. Clean, guys. Clean. It makes cleaning inside the interior much quicker and easier so highly recommend get you some weather mats so let's get to work these are a little bit difficult you got these little clips that they're hooked into and then you're able to pull this out i probably might as well just take that off i thought it was going to help me protect it but it's not looking and the bolts are like it's rusted maybe i have to find a way to clean the bolts and keep them looking black and pristine so hey gotta love it so let's go ahead and take these out Guys, I highly recommend you get WeatherTech mats for any maker because it took me two minutes to clean 
this now the next side save your time and energy and my carpet looks fresh for how many years 2011 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 seven years of this car gotta love it guys the driver's side not so much Jeez, daily driven right it helps a lot it could be much worse if it's just worse now it could be much worse so i'm back here so come to find out both of my compressors well one of my compressors is working this one is working but it's coming on but it's not pumping this one's coming on but it's not pumping enough air and this one is not even working at all so more than likely i gotta get two brand new compressors um and i even uh, swapped the relays to see if it's maybe the relay gone bad but it's actually the compressor so i swapped this one to that one it came on so more than likely i gotta get new compressors this one's coming on but it's not i guess strong enough to pump air into the bag so it is what it is i guess i learned my lesson when it's cold just take out the fuse for the compressor and I should have enough air in the tank and don't leave the compressor running and just burn out or whatever. So lesson learned and I hope you guys do the same. If it's cold outside and your compressor's not pumping air, unplug the fuse out of the compressor and wait for it to warm up and then put the fuse back in. It's pretty simple. So you're, and I also recommend get you guys these female adapters male and female adapters. I'm gonna go to Radio Shock and buy some more because I believe when I take out both these compressors, I'm gonna have to get new ones and put them on there. So basically they come with just the copper pieces and then you just uh, put them inside there and crimp the middle piece down and they're together. So as you guys can see, it's easy to take apart. You just pull them apart and they come apart. So they just come apart like this. And that's it. It looks like that. These two pieces look like this, and you just plug them in. I'm gonna go to Radio Shack and buy some of these later today. So, new compressors on the way, new videos on the way, more content. Come to find out guys, I was about to leave to head to Radio Shack, and come to find out that with all the Radio Shacks and around me in Maryland is permanently closed. So I guess, rest in peace to Radio What's up guys? So before I left the house, because I was gonna go to the store and buy some of those little connections for my compressors. So I officially ordered my two new compressors because my compressors are dead or burnt out or something's wrong with them. So I'm just gonna buy two new compressors. It's actually cheaper to buy two compressors, so that's what's up. So I decided to just cop two compressors and I was gonna go out and go buy these let me show you guys so these are actually called fully insulated crimp on quick di quick uh, disconnects and i don't know why but it's always like a pain in the butt to try to find these and like i told you guys radio shack is actually um i guess all the radio shacks in my area is permanently closed so there is i guess no more radio shack rest in peace but these are it right here, if I can get it to focus. So they're fully insulated, quick disconnects, and they look like this, definitely worth it. So I actually, which I found out when I went back to the garage, I, I guess balled out and just bought like a bunch of them. So I bought like four or five packs of these, so I got a bunch of them still. So that's what's up, I'm glad. I decided when I was actually at, the last time I was at my Radio Shack, I balled out and bought all of them, so that's what's up. So don't have to do that. Just gotta wait for the compressors to come in. The giveaway was supposed to come on Saturday. I just checked the giveaway is gonna be on Tuesday. And then I found out that it's actually gonna be snowing on Tuesday. After I just cleaned my car underneath the wheel wheel and everything is gonna be snowing on Tuesday. If you guys liked this video, definitely smash the like button and tomorrow, there will be another video every single day at 12 p.m. I'm getting back on it, back on track, going to make it happen. If there's anything that you guys want to achieve, if there's a goal or anything, find your inner drive and go after it every single day. Peace.
Shout out to the Evil Street Strike fam. Definitely smash the subscribe button on the left here and also hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Click the link right here below of the latest video that's out right now.